car would be the spirit. And basically, for most people, if the soul is very dormant, the car runs the body. That's why everything with Oprah and everything white people are dealing with now is based on the, the human spirit. That ain't shit. The same spirit that run you, run a motherfucking snail. That's everything down here, black, white, cat, rat, and even some shit you got down, um, clone has a spirit. The spirit runs this realm, period. Now understand the difference between the spirit. The spirit would be your car. And it basically moves upon the face of the earth. Everything down here, including this fucking wall, has some form of vibrations. And that would be the aspect of the spirit. So know the difference between the spirit and the soul. The spirit, everything on planet Earth has a spirit. The snails, the worms, everything has a form of a spirit, including animals. That is what moves the physical Earth. Okay? The soul is something totally different. That is a sun. That is a star. So, the spirit generally runs humans. But what happens here is the alchemical components come together in the body based on astronomical configurations of a certain cycle. That is the illumination and the life cycle of the planet upon graduation. That's the new age. And based on the certain astronomical configurations that is in the cosmos, you see what I'm saying? The macrocosm, the microcosm has the same as astronomical lineups. They call it cosmic alignments. So the same cosmic alignment that was in the astronomical aspect of what you call space is also in us. So because we had several cosmic alignments during the early part of 2000, May 5th, or uh, 2000, had, they had all these alignments. This, you, you might hear some of them, but there's several alignments that go on that the government don't even tell you about. They're constantly in astronomical configurations of alignments that go on monthly. Eclipse alignments, these types of moons. You understand what I'm saying? These types of conjunctions. You understand what I'm saying? These types of portholes. So there was a whole bunch of stuff that aligned during the first part from, let's say from 99 on in. And all of a sudden, when these alignments happen, which I used to go and depend on herbs and stuff to ward off colds, I would wake up and go, damn, I got a cold coming on. Then the body would go back to sleep and I wake up, the cold is gone. And ever since the spring of 2000, I haven't had to take no fucking damn herbs. No drugs or nothing. I just wake up, I'll feel something when I go back to sleep. The sleep enough cures it. That is because the, the spirit up to 2000 aligned what, what was basically trying to keep itself going. And basically I needed a lot of whatever to ward off certain colds and stuff. Then the alchemical change happened and my soul illuminated and once the soul took over i no longer needed those particular things because the soul cancels out the spirit and the soul starts to run the body because it is its own intelligence you get it so one is the spirit that runs the body for everything down here then there's an illumination that goes on based on an astronomical uh, configurations that become a alchemical alignment in you and then the soul becomes illuminated from a dormant state. Now, once that soul illuminates and takes over the body, it cancels out what is the spirit. Now, let me give you an example. What happened? I used to come here and I used to meet up because I was a scientist. I have all these notes and I would go down a series of notes. And it's just a way, just a part of my scholarly aspect. And I would have these little, these little cold things. I have one word on the, on the paper, and that word would tap into what I'm going to talk about. That word might trigger 
a fucking 30 minutes of shit. Then all of a sudden, when the soul started coming into the, this intelligence, it started taking over the damn body, and then all of a sudden, it's, it's, it's his own person. And it started overriding even me, you see. And so therefore, it was a, it's a whole nother intelligence comes in when I invoke the actual soul within my body, because it canceled out that particular intelligence that used to be uh, dependent upon the spirit. Now, based on the alchemical configuration and alchemical and astronomical configuration, which goes back down to basically a lot of you all are going through the, through the same thing. Now, to give you an example of what happened, that happened to me. There was a brother in Philadelphia, and I don't know if I... I don't think it happened the last time I was here. Didn't it happen when I was here the last time? The brother from Philadelphia named Bob Cece. They had a, a party up in Philadelphia. And the sister, this, you all met some of the sisters at the conference. The sister Delilah and them had a party up there. And he said, man, they was drinking and, and smoking and doing all, having a good time. And he left the party and stepped out in the street and got hit by a damn car. He got hit by a car so fucking hard until he had to climb from up under the damn car. Now anybody to get hit by a damn car so much that your ass is up under the car, you fucked up. He climbed from up under the car. He's 62 years old. Got hit from the hit hit got he got no he didn't get hit. Motherfucker got run over. Crawled up from up under the car. Walked two miles to his sister's house. Sister drove him back to the, to the scene of the crime, and he and the guy, he said he's up in the middle of the crowd looking to see what happened. And they were like, well, Bob Cece got hit. He was like, God damn, I'm Bob Cece. So he said the only thing happened, he, he had a little scratch on his face, and he had a scratch on his knee, and the next morning he healed up. 62 years old, not a complete, nothing happened, not a scratch, I'm talking about no bones broken, no nothing. You see, and he said the next morning, the very next morning, just like this in this book, the, the scratch on his face and on his knee healed up. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about people alchemically lining up based on astronomical configurations that these particular African avatars or these particular people who had the ability to heal themselves where one guy cuts out the heart. His heart get cut out. He gets off the damn operating table and go put his heart back in his damn, in his, in, his, in his body. This is not happening to us. It talks about it in a lot of alchemical texts of the glorified spirit. And it's not only just happening to us, it's happening not just to cons, it's happening to people haphazardly. My mother got hit by a car. Total loss the damn car. Total lost the damn car, and she's sitting up. She's sitting up. They put it. They, they, you know, the rescue squad team. They put her on the dog on gurney or whatever. And she complaining about her fucking car on the cell phone. The car tore to pieces, and not a scratch on her. She just had one little headache, and they took her to the hospital. And the first thing they started doing was trying to get her blood pressure down, because to get the blood pressure down, they knew that it could kill her. Because what had happened was that the alchemical process started to whatever happened. Um, to heal whatever little bumps and bruises she had. And she's about 65 and, and, and basically walked away and the car was completely demolished. And they kept in the hospital about two hours to try to get the blood pressure down because they know it's policy. If they can get the blood pressure down, they can kill the person. Because the blood pressure was up so that the alchemical components could go throughout the body and heal rapidly. You see, so what we're talking about here, we're talking about a system that what happened with the brothers in Africa in the mid, in the early um, 20th century, this is going on with us at this particular point. I know it because something, like I said, and I, I'm not talking about this, I will bump my, I will bump, I will hurt something, you know how you, 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 you hurt something, you don't feel it, but you don't hurt something, and the next morning you wake up sore. Well, every night when there's something either going on that I heard something or something is going on that I'm getting ready to come down with something or something is going on that my body uh, is out of line, I will have a burning sensation wherever that is on my body when I wake up that night. 
and then the, and the next morning when I wake up, it's completely gone. So I don't even get to that particular thing. I, have, I, I all I know is I have a burning sensation on the injured part of my body, and when I wake up the next day, it's completely gone. It's completely gone.